Hey everybody, today we are trying out a new wing. Well, not new, but new to me. This is a APCO Lift 2EZ, provided by Mojo's Flight School, Charlotte, North Carolina. This is an interesting glider because it's basically two wings in one. So they market this as a wing that you can turn around and upgrade the risers on to get more performance. So as it sits right now, it's a low B wing, but if you get the Easy R risers, it gives you a more trim range, adds speed bar, basically turns it into a high B reflex wing. So that's uh, pretty unique as far as wings go. You don't usually get switchable risers with the same canopy. As it sits in its Lift 2 EZ form, APCO has done their absolute best to make it super, super simple. So we've got very, very basic risers here. Not a whole lot going on. We do have a trimmer. <laughs> I guess technically it works, but look at this trim range. That's it. It's like two inches, maybe. So really kind of practice trims. You notice no speed bar on the front. The trimmers really don't move very far. Uh, it's, it's meant to be a, a school or a beginner wing until you're ready for something more. And then it turns into a higher end reflex wing. So this is actually going to be in two parts. Today I'm reviewing the wing as it sits in its lift to easy form as a beginner school wing. And then I'm going to go and fly another wing, not this one, but the same design except with the R risers on it. So we're going to give this guy a shot take to the air on the Gravity Defiant out here in Yakinville, and we'll see what we think about it. Let's go check it out. All right, ready for takeoff. Looks like we're doing a forward into about uh, two to three mile an hour winds. The brake handles are actually really nice. I do like APCO's brake handles. They're fairly firm on the inside, but they do have some give to them, and they're just the right size. I do have kind of big hands though, so maybe that doesn't help. Looks like we're getting a bit of a crosswind, that'll be okay. Here we go. Oh. So as you can see, the takeoff, the takeoff's a little labored. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it it requires longer tension on the A's than other wings in his class, like the I guess the BGD Epics, uh, you know, something like the Gin Vantage. Though the Gin Vantage is a lightweight uh, fabric, this is full heavyweight sail. Um, yeah, it, it's it's forgiving on takeoff though. It doesn't overshoot, and if it hangs too far back you do have a chance to recover it to get it back forward. It's not, it's not the end of the world. I know uh, some, of the, some of the Dudek designs are like that. If you don't get them all the way up, you'll never get them all the way up. But this one can bounce back. So not too bad there. So maneuverability, it's, uh, it's okay. It's, it's actually pretty good considering that it's an upgradable uh, I hate to call it an A-wing, but it really does feel like a high A more than a low B. But, you know, down to the shoulder, pull and hold, does not get you very interesting uh, turns. Which, for some beginners, is a good thing, don't get me wrong. But again, comparing it to other Bs in the, in the similar category, uh, I've had much sportier. Now, let's see if it gets out of its own oscillation. Yeah, not too bad. Let's give it a slightly sharper turn here. Go into an oscillation, hands up. One. It's already dampening, two. Three. 
Yeah, and we're back level. So I guess within about three rocks, it's business as usual. So very nice self-dampening. Some wings like the Epic uh, just oscillate hands up. There's not much you can do about it in my experience. But this one dampens itself very nicely. As far as brake pressure goes, it's very mushy. This is stock again. We haven't modified it. And this is a size medium. It's a 27 and a half square meter. So we, we pull brake down and I really just start to feel it catch right about my eye level. And then it just, uh, now it starts to get stiff down around the ribs. And this is where you can start to command some good turns. There's weak to the horizon. So uh, it takes quite a bit of pressure, quite a bit of travel to uh, get a good sharp turn. And again, that's uh, probably a good thing for a beginner wing. I'm interested to see what that's like once we upgrade to the EZR risers, the faster set. On the note of speed, you'll notice I'm really not going very fast. Today was probably supposed to be not flyable, but surprisingly here we are, and there's a significant headwind. Um, I would guess probably in the neighborhood of 10 to 12. So we'll trim out, see what that gets us. Yeah, no, no noticeable change. And if you look at the risers, the, <laughs> the mallions have moved maybe half an inch. So I probably picked up a mile an hour, but judging by my ground speed, it's really not noticeable. Let's see if the maneuverability changed at all. Gains pressure are a little quicker, right about the top of my head. But turn-wise, in a sustained turn, no, there's really no difference. It's about the same maneuverability. Now for what I think is one of the most important metrics uh, to <laughs> have undamaged gear and undamaged pride for a beginner. How does it flare? So turns par for the course and flates a little on the slow side. Let's see how the landing is. Uh, diving back down, pull our trims in here. <laughs> that is no, no effort. So I would, uh, I would say that confirms that the trims don't really do anything. Oh, and big ears. <laughs> Manual doesn't say anything about big ears, but they give us the option to. Now I've got my wingtip camera strapped up there, so you have to take my word for it. It does big ears fine. I don't know why the manual says don't do big ears. So. There's that. I've done big ears. No biggie. <laughs> that was a joke. That was, that was a Jesus Christ. Okay. We'll do a bit of a spiral here to drop some altitude. All right, so full disclosure, it is a bit bumpy today. So this landing might be crappy and it might not be the wing's fault. Woo! All right, all eyes on the flare now. Yeah, it's uh. It's really like a two-stage flare. Not the worst, not not the worst, but uh, really does feel a little more like an A-wing than a B-wing on the flare. It's got good energy. I just I don't know what it is. You pull down to about uh, shoulder level, and you get an initial swing up, but then everything else until you hit past your belly button doesn't do anything. So. Kind of have to work on the timing to get that one down right, but overall not bad. 
Now I really want to see what the EZR does, but that's what we're going to call a video for today. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. What wing did you learn on? Have you flown this one? What do you think about my review? Leave a comment down below, and we will see you next time. Peace.